nine long weeks of the triple day action in the LCS and eight whole weeks of the LEC bringing us bangers. It's time for our final week of the regular split as LCS and LEC action kicks off with these 30 goddamn games to go through. This is going to be an absolute banger weekend, so let's just load up into our results and get a uh, going. So let's take on our standard results bit. Starting with the LCS, and it's becoming tradition that we get twos across the board. And yeah, we can quickly go over the games that we got correct. TL Fly Day 1 and TSM EG were the two big old results we picked up. Day 2, TSM Golden Guardians and 103 CLG was the two points we got. And Day 3, TSM C9 and EG and CLG. Getting ourselves another two points, taking our total to 6 out of 15, which is under half, which is not good. As for the LEC, we can go in quite hard, 4 out of 5 day 1, only dropping the Fnatic Rogue game, and day 2, 3 out of 5, dropping SK Fnatic and Rogue Mad, which was our match of the week. So, overall, a pretty strong LEC week, kind of meh LCS week, but as we enter our super week in terms of action, We've got 30 games to go through, so let's make this quick. You thought kicking off the LCS last week with C900 Thieves was a banger. This week, you've got 100 Thieves and TSM opening up our NA battles. These two teams sit at the top of the table, tied for now. And this is where... We're going to see one of them probably claim the top spot for the rest of this split. This is, while probably I say not that influential of a matchup, it's still bragging rights. And the opportunity to tell people why you do not want to face X team. But which of them two teams is the X team in my opinion? I have gone with a hundred thieves winning here. That's because they've just been performing slightly better than TSM. TSM have little points in games during the early game and then occasionally in the late game. Mid game is where you'll see TSM strive and battle and get the victories from. But as I say, hundred thieves have been far and better in the entirety of the games in comparison to TSM and that's why I've gone with an 100 Thieves win. Well the bangers keep on rolling in. EG and C9 is the next game. Game 2. This is turning out to be a very impactful day 1 of the LCS. These two teams vying for a playoff bye or the upper bracket. I forget what you get for 3rd and 4th. It's probably a playoff uh, upper bracket position yeah there's not really any more reason why you would want to advance your position but let's just say these two teams battling here could be a playoff matchup we see in the opening rounds I for one am looking forward to this matchup however if I'm to predict it this might upset some people eg in my prediction They've been the form team as of late. C9 have been dropping games here and there to pretty much everyone. And EG is one of the only teams that I know that's taking games off of these top teams on a consistent basis. And as such, that's kind of why you have to say they're going to win here over the Cloud9 roster. Game 3 is going to be FlyQuest Golden Guardians. I know... These games are getting very interesting already, and yeah, you could say this is a step down from the first two, but you're still looking at a battle for eight. These two teams have been changed up since the Licorice transfer and the Academy FlyQuest roster coming in. They've been getting better and are going up and up and up in terms of form. 
as such as they match up here. It's going to be interesting to see which team gets the upper leg on the other. My prediction, though, is going to be a Golden Guardians win. I'd like them more as a team. A Blaze Olive has been phenomenal this entire split. And it's hard to believe this is his first actual split or season in the LCS. Considering how much form and great plays he's had in uh, Academy. I remember him picking up the trophy with TSM Academy. A couple of splits go to one with Treat and Speaker on that roster. It was a pretty stacked lineup. I think Tactical was there as well. That was a very stacked Academy team TSM had back then. But, um, yeah, them, he has performed exceptionally well. He's going to have a fun old matchup in the middle lane. I think Golden Guardians are winning it. TL IMT is kind of the biggest step down of the day. Yeah, this matchup has realistically no sway on me, I guess you could say. It's not hype, but you still have to realize every game matters. That's a phrase you're going to get used to hearing this weekend. And probably through the entire split and playoffs and whenever you hear it. You just know it's a big old phrase that gets repeated tons and yeah, you don't need to hear it. Anywho, this game matters and it matters because TL are going to win and that's always a good sign for them because, you know, it means that they're getting closer to the... Uh, Upper bracket securing. I don't know how the LCS playoffs is working this split. It's jank. It's always been jank when they let L uh, eight teams into it. I was going to say 11, but you know, there weren't even 11 teams. Actually, technically, there was this split because FlyQuest and FlyQuest Academy have both played in the LCS this split. So, yeah, there has been 11 teams. So, yeah. What am I on? TL wins. Last game on the Friday in the LCS is Dig CLG. Yeah, I think you start off with the high highs. We're ending on the low lows for day one. I'm going to just make this one a quickie. Dig a winning. I don't have any faith for CLG through this split anymore. <laughs> Plain and simple. You can see in certain play morale. It's not there anymore, and it's just not working. Well, going from that game into 100 Thieves Golden Guardians to kick off day two, I'm looking forward to it. I like watching Golden Guardians play the split. They've been exciting. 100 Thieves, though, are who I've gone with winning. Just, I just feel the best team in the league's gonna win here against one of the worst teams in the league. You know, the worst team in the league is CLG. So, game number seven is C9 Dig. Yeah, this is gonna be one of them. Oh god, why is it happening matches? Because Dig have been experimenting a bit more here at the, to the end of the season. C9 have just been losing, getting beat mid, which is kind of sad for perks who is obviously adjusting to the LCS stage with his uh, medical reasons. Yeah, it's not been the best of seasons for the guy coming out of the LEC as one of the best players to play both mid and ADC. So, stylistically here, you have to give the match win to C9. Though Dig probably will have some crazy contraption comp that will test the Cloud9 boys in a very interesting manner. IMT fly! Yay! A game bomb table clash. IMT have already locked in playoffs. FlyQuest are looking to do the same this weekend in the final weekend. They need to win this game. Though, will IMT give it to them? No, I've gone with an IMT win here. It's just... I don't know. Although FlyQuest, I think... CLGTSM. Team top table versus team bottom. Yeah, this used to have a lot of meaning, this matchup. And although CLG have picked up a win, I do believe this split against TSM with the bongo comp. I don't think that's going to happen again. 
and I've gone with a DSM win. So from that dreary old game to another dreary old game? No, it's TLEG rounding out day two. Personally, I like this matchup because it's new guard, old guard, I guess you could say. TL being the paid by Steve roster, EG being the roster that's filled with rejects, I guess you could say. Impact, rejected from TL. Sven Skeren, reject from C9. Jazuke, reject from EU. Um, bot lane Danny, who is a different topic altogether. And then Ignar, reject from FlyQuest. I mean, FlyQuest couldn't afford his wages. But um, Danny has been popping off the split. He is a shoe in to win rookie of the split in the LCS. That's not even a question he's getting that and as such him versus tactical is a nice matchup because you have a former rookie of the split taking on the rookie of the split i love this matchup and you have to look at the support alongside them as well core jj and igna both players that are stepping up for their team core jj always is mr consistent former world champion by the way he's very strong defensively very strong offensively ignar is very strong offensive so when these two teams clash you could probably see a lot of sparks in that bot lane and probably will receive a lot of attention from uh, armeo or santorin depending on what tl have and also svenskar so that's where we're looking and as such, I have gone with an EG win. And it's going to be a bloody old game here, is my prediction. Well, 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 day three kicked off with Dig TSM. I like this matchup because Dig always bring it to TSM. And somehow managed to always beat them in certain occasions. It's usually late game where TSM failed to execute. But will that failure be a success this game for TSM? I think it will. I think Dig and TSM will have logged their places in the playoffs. There'll be no real need for them to be expressing themselves heavily in a matchup like this. And as such, I have gone with a TSM win and some explosive firecracker comps. Let's be honest. Maybe a speaker cane yet again? Who knows? So, if you don't remember what last weekend's AAs were, it was Rogue vs. Mad and 100 Thieves vs. C9. The top tier. The teams at the top of the table battling one another. They were our AAs. This week, you're getting the reverse. You are getting the playoff scraper battles. These are the most intense matches, because let's be honest, once you're in playoffs, the games don't matter as much. But for the teams vying for that 6th spot or 8th spot, every game matters. And as such, here in the LCS, we're looking at IMT and Golden Guardians. Yeah, this is the last game for these two teams in a regular split. IMT, I do believe, are locked for playoffs. And they're sitting, challenging for the sixth spot, which is avoiding the lower bracket and going into the higher one. Golden Guardians still ain't locked. They're in the battle for eighth. And there's three teams in that battle because no one is officially eliminated from the LCS just yet. This is a big old battle for them. And it's a big old win they need to get. Do I think they'll achieve it with this roster? Well, since the licorice buff has come through, and we haven't actually looked at Golden Guardians since that buff, you have to go and give it to them. They've been on a tear recently, and that's why I've given them the win here over IMT, who probably may take this a little less serious, but I think they will still want to challenge for the sixth spot against Dig. And as such, that's why it's going to be a fun old battle. Now we go from match of the week to TLC9. The rematch of the spring split finals rounds out the weekend for both lineups. Overall, you've got a lot of 
of things at stake here because this could actually be a first round matchup. I know, right? Getting it so early in playoffs is unique, I would say. If only there wasn't a thing called carrying over results from last split. Yeah, I hate that still. I've made that abundantly clear. But um, yeah, this match I have gone with ATL win. Don't know why, I just think they're gonna win. It's just more of a coin flip prediction. So we now head into 100 Thieves and EG. Yeah, this is going to be another big old test for 100 Thieves against another team going for the top four. I like this matchup. I wish that I could cover it. But with us covering 100 Thieves so recently, i.e. last week, I just don't feel the need to cover another 100 Thieves game. But, who do I think is going to win? I've actually gone with a EG win. Yeah. This is where TSM locked top. Or we get a tiebreaker between TSM and 100 Thieves, which would be actually very interesting because TSM could quite easily drop a game this weekend, not against 100 Thieves, because I don't know what TSM versus 100 Thieves win record is this split. And that'll play a factor into if we get tiebreakers. I don't know if there would need to be a tiebreaker between TSM and 100 Thieves. I kind of wish there was. Anywho, my prediction is the EG win. So the LCS regular split and our technical regular split ends with FlyQuest and CLG. Yeah, this is a matchup that's happened, isn't it? It's not going to be pretty for us. Because it's involving two teams at the bottom of the table. I guess they both need it in order to get a spot in playoffs. But by the time this happens, you could probably see one of them eliminated before this game. And then they maybe bring out the Mbongo comp. Hint, hint, CLG not making playoffs. And as such, that's why I've gone with a FlyQuest win. Well, we're entering the LEC. And it is the Super Weekend, with Vitality and Schalke kicking it off. Personally, this could be a very open match, but I've gone with a Vitality win. SO4 have nothing to lose, and realistically, when you have nothing to lose, you tend to int. That's why I've gone with a Vitality win. SK Astralis second game of the LEC. Yeah, this is a battle for playoffs. SK technically not eliminated and they need to win here in order to stay in the running for playoffs. The miracle run is still alive for them and I think they're going to continue it and beat Astralis here. It's going to be funny. You've got two, a lot of Swedish players in this game and that always provides some entertainment because the Swedes are the best. Okay, even I find some funniness in that because I know someone who's Swedish. <laughs> they are definitely the best of my life. Haha! <laughs> XL Rogue. Third game of the LEC. And I for one think this is gonna be close. Rogue locked playoffs. Looking to get the top spot and secure it. Obviously they did lose to Fnatic recently that knocked him off that position. I, for one, have gone with a rogue win, and that probably eliminates XL. I am not sure of the way the league is set up right now, but if XL lose, I think that helps SK out in terms of them moving up the rankings for the sixth place spot, and you can kind of see where the miracle runs going here. If the teams above them lose SK have more and more of a chance of getting in that's my hopes anyway and that's my pick here as Rogue win now we go into MAD and G2 the games are ramping up and this is a match that never disappoints there's always action thrills and excitement from these two teams who love to just throw it all out there. And I mean, 
I think they can do that here because they're both technically playoff locked. And that means that there's going to be probably some crazy ass picks by either team. Even though G2 have been playing crazy or split. That's the sort of thing we can expect in this matchup. An explosion on the rift that goes in favor of G2. Mad G2 regular split always ends in G2's favor. That's the trait and the trope that basically means that we go for them in the prediction. And finally, to round out day number one of the LEC, we have Fnatic and the Misfits. This is a good matchup because it's two teams near the top of the table brawling for your spectacle. Who do I think wins? I think Fnatic do. And they continue to keep a hold of the top spot. Something Fnatic has not done in a long time, shall we say. And as such, I'm expecting to see some explosions on the rift between these two lineups. All aboard the SK hype train as they take on Misfits here in game one of day two. I feel SK are winning. Don't ask why, it's just one of them games. Similar to the LCS, we have the LEC match of the week between Astralis and XL. Yeah, you could kind of see us coming to this matchup of the entire 15 games here in the European region as this is probably pivotal in who makes that sixth place spot as I do believe if Astralis win, XL are eliminated from contention for playoffs. That's a big old thing to say and XL, if you don't know the story, have never made playoffs in their existence and I'll be honest, XL and Astralis have been throwing the banter on Twitter between the two rival esports accounts. Oh boy, there's a lot of banner being thrown towards Astralis, let's be honest. They, well, they deserve it some time, let's be honest. Some of the players on our team have said some controversial stuff. Anywho, let's get over to the match of the week. XL Astralis. Astralis, the worst performing team in the LEC, yet are beating people and are in sixth as of now. XL have looked good, they had the honeymoon period of Markun and Advian, and are starting to pick up that form yet again, with Nuke Duck stepping up, and also having Patrick becoming that ADC that has won so many All-Pro awards. He is getting to his form that he needs to be at. That being said, top lane White Knight's gonna probably decimate Cries. Jungle, Markoon versus Zanzara. Zanzara's been playing Trundle mostly. Could easily be exploited. And as such, looking at the jungle mid matchup and then the jungle support lineup. Yeah, I've gotta go and give this win over to XL. I've just not been a fan of the X uh, Astralis jungle and support combo. Yes, they're talented players. Yes, they've said some stuff that I'm not proud of. I'm not including the jungle or in this sense our Promsku has said some questionable stuff recently. But questionable stuff being said does not equate to skill. These are all top players in the LEC. And as a whole, I've gone and given the win to the British squad, British squad XL, though it's going to be close and going to be fun. Rogue versus Vitality is the 23rd game this weekend that we are covering, and it's a big one. Vitality want to secure playoffs. Rogue want to secure top two. That's a big old securing that needs to be done. And you realize here, this game matters for both teams. And who have I gone with winning? I've gone with Rogue. They're more cautious style, structured, is gonna 
undo and unravel the vitality flow of pressure, their chaos, their anarchy, and they're gonna not be able to untangle the rogue lineup. G2SO4, it's class, it's Schalke getting the swan song against G2, the best team in Europe in terms of history. It's always nice when these two face off, and with the actual story behind this game, you gotta have a look at the top lane, Broken Blade Wonder, good old-fashioned top brawl, and as such, my prediction is not a Schalke win. Sadly, I don't think Schalke will pick up a win the rest of the split. Instead, I've gone with a G2 win. And our last game of the regularly scheduled broadcast is gonna be Mad Taking on Fnatic. This is a good old class battle between the first place team, I think, Fnatic are, and the current LEC champions. And this usually ends in pure anarchy. You have two very aggressive bot lanes going off against each other. Mid laners, both top games this split. And then jungle and top. Eh. Armor hasn't been having the best of form, but Adam is tearing up all the tops he's facing. And Whippo versus Elio is kind of an even matchup, I would say. But who is the better of the even? That's the question here that we're going to be answering. And I have gone with the Fnatic team being the best of the two. Just down to recent form and the fact that Fnatic are slightly better in each role, I would say, except for mid this split. So, five extra games, five results rattled off quickly is what we're going to go for here. Rogue SK, I've gone with a Rogue win. Then we have Vitality Astralis, I've gone with an Astralis win. Uh, Fnatic SO4, give the salute to SO4 here in their last LEC game ever. But Fnatic are winning. Misfits versus Mad, I've gone with Mad winning. And then G2XL, that's going to be class and G2 are my prediction to win that. With it all said and done, let's round out this episode here. I know them five results came out quite quickly. Tiebreakers, they'll go on my Twitter. I haven't been posting too often on my Twitter, but when I do, it's usually League, and these will be tiebreaker results on there, or predictions, I should say. But with that all said and done, it's time to round out this episode here. If you enjoyed this part, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new here if you want to. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the LCS's AA. See you guys then.